Hello everybody, this is Bergback coming to you with game number three between MVP, spawning as the blue Terran in the upper left-hand corner of Tall Dream Altar, and uh, in the bottom right-hand corner is opponent MC, spawning as the red Protoss. Uh, this is game number three between them, and this is, um, you know, it's been a crazy, crazy best of three. M uh, MC going and winning game number one. Uh, with basically on the defense of the whole entire game. And uh, these two, of course, wishing each other good luck in this tournament. Uh, two high-level Korean players from two uh, great um, two great clans, uh, teams rather. And, uh, you know, MVP in game number two just doing a great job of, uh, you know, macroing, basically. And, uh, you know, those on Tika Shipyards game number two and he was just able to, to max out and really uh, divert MC's attention so much you know being able to lift up just take out things and uh, you know we'll see if MC can do uh, you know the unthinkable not the unthinkable really but being able to really take it to MC, uh, MVP and uh, you know we'll see how the build orders go here as, uh, as we go on, it looks like, uh, you know, pretty standard opening here for both of them as, uh, you know, the gateway and the command center, or the uh, barracks coming out. We do have the gas coming out, so, of course, we'll be seeing some tech coming from uh, MC. We don't see any gas coming out for MVP yet, of course. Looks like he is saving up a considerable amount of money basically thinking we're going to see a fast expand coming from MVP because we're saving up 400 minerals. I wonder why we would be saving up 400 minerals. That, that would be uh, kind of crazy not to, but we are spending a little bit of money here on the command center and uh, bringing out a marine. And it looks like MVP is just starting to come out. I'm not sure if this is going to be a scout or it is going to be his fast expand that he's going for. And MC, of course, is going to see this fast expand coming right away. Marie just coming in saying, you know what? You're not getting in here to see what I got hiding behind these lines. As, uh, you know, that probe just kind of meandering out saying, you know what? We're not going to deal with it right now. As uh, the SCP of MVP now coming out. Uh, to do some scouting in MC's base. And it looks like we'll have a uh, Zealot here to do a little bit of damage. Of course, that SCP does have a little bit of health. We might have saw, you know, a little bit of probe on SCP action. But again, as this stalker is going to come out and probably take... Look at that little micro. That micro, guys, right there. As we do have a bunker starting to come down on the expand here with that command center. So right now... Uh, not seeing a whole lot of deviation from last game. We are seeing a third command center coming down. So we're going to see uh, MVP trying for a micro game once again. And it looks like just trying to take this midfield. Going to go for probably one of these. One of these watchtowers. As uh, a, a Nexus coming down for MC. So we're going to see him trying to bolster his money. And uh, looks like just kind of probing around. Ha! Ah, get that. As uh, MC bring this probe down, it will probably see something like a proxy pylon around here somewhere uh, from MC just to bring in the forces of MC a little bit faster because, of course, he wants to bring on as much pressure as possible. We see uh, three gateways going to be total, in total here, rather, and that warp gate technology coming down as well as we get to that brings down that second gas. So MC definitely looking to do some pressure here as uh, as well as MVP. I mean, look at this. He's going basically same build as last game. Going to be going to probably going with that Marine Marauder mix that he has been showing so well here uh, at MLG. And it looks like MVP going to try and come out here and spot what he can. A stalker sitting there and waiting as uh, looks like, yeah, he's going to be taken out. Stalker, of course, down here, just kind of sitting pretty, as this probe just, again, also sitting pretty, just kind of waiting for any kind of action, as MVP is just kind of sitting back, getting as much money up as possible, and um, we do have some sentries out for MC, we'll see what kind of push that's going to do him. And again, this sentry, uh, Stalker, rather, just kind of sitting there, 
waiting for anything to come around. He's basically sitting there trying to get as much of a vision as possible. And uh, the bunker's continuing to come down for MVP. He really wants to guard this expand. Does not want anything coming in. And again, sending out another probe. He just wants to get some vision of what's going on. And uh, of course, this little stalker down here is going to take him out. No question. No question at all. As uh, MVP, of course, is being forced to retreat. Sentries and a couple zealots. They're kind of making a zealot sandwich here. As uh, as they start going across the map. And all while that is happening, MVP bringing a good band of marines in as well. So we had M MC just kind of getting out of there. As uh, that probe decided to get out as well. Uh, there's no, no question about that. That probe would have definitely died to the hands of all those bullets. The, the poor probe. I don't know what it would tell its family and friends. And uh, MVP doing a little bit of a variation here now, though. Bringing in a missile turret. He uh, does not want to get observed. That, that is for sure. He wants to make sure that this is not seen at all. Of course, the missile turret being back there. Uh, you know, he will be able to see this wall, of course. Starting to load up some units as MC, of course, starting to push forward. And it looks like this probe starting to come around, building a pylon, a forward pylon. I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, maybe a forward pylon up here. Uh, being able to really get close to uh, FVP. And again, you see a lot of building here. Uh, from MVP, but not a whole lot of building from MC as he is just going for a push, getting as many of as he can just to build more units. He is going in like candy as uh, he is getting ready to move forward as we see here. No upgrades, no upgrades at all. Uh, no upgrades, of course, for MVP as, as well. And look at that force field usage, keeping those units at bay, keeping the SCVs from being able to repair. And again, more force fields, taking down two of those bunkers. Uh, the other bunker definitely uh, being repaired there by that one lone SCV. And uh, MC just kind of pulling back. But again, look at this pylon coming into play in the back, being able to just going to be re reinforcing rather quickly as he needs to go. And uh, as if that bunker goes down, we are going to see MVP in a lot of trouble because, of course, we do have another bunker, but that's not going to be enough, especially with these force fields. These amazing force fields by MVP, or MC, rather. Uh, these acronyms, I tell you, they're just the short names. As uh, bringing down that wall, and uh, again, force fields doing a great job of keeping units from getting out and being able to do any kind of damage to MC's units. It's, it's a great play, and of course you're seeing upgrades trying to come out for MVP here. Uh, but again, it's just not looking good, especially with this pylon here. MC being able just to reinforce rather quickly uh, compared to MVP's with three racks. Bringing down the SCVs now, it's basically all this or nothing for MVP. MVP in a world of hurt as these SCVs now starting to go down. And I don't think we're going to be long out from seeing a GG from MVP. Down goes the Orbital Command. Kaboom. I mean, yeah, I, I don't see how MVP can really get back to this. We've got another forward pylon coming out. And uh, MC just kind of pushing in. He's got, you know, two Marauders, two Marines, and two Metabots. That's not really going to be a whole lot of uh, good here for MVP, as it looks like all these units starting to go down. The Guardian Shield doing its job here for MC, as uh, he's just able to take out all of MVP's units here. And, uh, yeah, I think this is pretty much as I said From MVP. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, uh, really well played here. Really, MC able to bring on the offensive. Totally turn around game number one. And, um, you know, being able to go on the offensive instead of defense. And it really worked in his favor. You know, really being able to bring in these pylons and just keep bringing them up, bringing them forward, and uh, being able to reinforce fast. You know, that, that is the great part of being a Protoss, being able just to reinforce with a pylon.
you know, all your units at once, being able to warp them in. Um, so, grats to uh, MC for winning this. Best of three. Um, I'm going to try and get more MLG Providence, uh, you know, the finals and all that other stuff, uh, on my channel. If you like this game, please make sure to hit the like button, and uh, please make sure to hit uh, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.